All right, welcome back. Uh, this is a update on Lost Island and what they've been doing over the off season, which spoiler alert is not that much. I went out on Sunday, which had some um, pretty insane winds. So I did get a few drone shots, a few fleeting drone shots, but as you can see, I was having some uh, issues keeping control of my drone for the second week in a row and ended up uh, taking a pretty hard landing. The drone survived, but uh, certainly was not happy. So most of my coverage is going to be from my DSLR and walking around the lake around the property. You can see in some of this footage how uh, crazy the wind is. You can see just how much the cabin toppers for the Ferris wheel are swinging. Overall, I did a bit of a slow pan around here. I'm going to try to stabilize this footage for you guys. Um, so if it looks a little wonky, that's why. But it was, again, insanely windy. Um, I couldn't really see really anything new going on. Everything looked pretty much the status quo and in place. The Everything seems to look perhaps a little bit more professional <clears throat> in that things are starting to get cleaned up and it starts to look less like a construction site and more like a real theme park. But for the most part, everything seems um, pretty much the same as it was last year. I wasn't able to spot any new ride or anything. I know they're teasing something, um, and the tease has a flame slash fire effect, but I wasn't really able to see into the fire area very well. But during my slow pan right around here, you can see that uh, not, not really easy to tell if anything's happening or not. Here are just some more in-depth pictures that I took. You can see... Uh, this is kind of looking in the fire area. There's no real groundwork that I can see. Um, I don't really remember this blue fence being there, but I could just be misremembering things. Perhaps there's something back there that is being worked on. There might be some paint on the ground over there. But that is as much as I could tell. Without having the drone in the air, I couldn't really see over in that area very well. From the drone footage I did get, you can see that the, the blue fence extends from the dark ride all the way to their maintenance building, and there is a large plot of area back there, but I don't have enough pixels <laughs> on my old uh, DJI Spark to really see anything of detail or of note to really see any ongoing construction. There might be a little digger right there, but who knows? I think I'll just have to uh, go back at some point and actually be able to fly over the park instead of uh, this random flight that I ended up having. Madugani just looks awesome. That's one thing that this park does right is the solid green Madugani and the purple and blue Nopuko just look incredible and absolutely stunning in person even though they're you know, not the most interesting rides. This little area back here, it, it's obviously going to make sort of a patio behind this uh, large dining establishment. However, they have definitely not put any concrete in yet or anything, and this fence is very not completed. So it'd be nice if that could open this year. Um, it'd be a really nice overlook over the lake and just a really nice place to sit down. But I'm guessing that is not one of their current priorities right now. Here's another video just kind of showing how uh, how much these Ferris wheel holders were wobbling back and forth right here. Over by Utah Falls. I thought this was going to be something interesting, but this is just a wrapped up uh, human dryer, so nothing interesting there. This is kind of back in their maintenance area. I didn't really want to walk further around the lake. There was no fence or anything, but I just... I didn't want to uh, overstep my boundaries, so I stayed on this side of the lake and took a few pictures. They clearly have some ride vehicle like stands and whatnot, and a lot of pallets and a lot of barrels, but nothing really super interesting that I could tell. I, didn't, I couldn't really see maybe some spare fencing and parts and whatnot, but I, I couldn't see anything like specific for perhaps a new ride or anything. Utah Falls definitely still looks bare bone. I hope that that is something that they can work on, maybe perhaps putting in some more trees or greenery or 
just anything to make this look a little nicer. I mean, I, I do like the rock work and whatnot, but it's just, uh, doesn't look good. You can see it was so windy that some of the covers for this, uh, spinning ride had started to blow off and others were very close to blowing off. Over in the air section and also for their splash battle. Splash battle, you know, some of the boats are uncovered, some of the boats aren't. Um, but it's interesting that they storm in the trough instead of outside of the trough. For the rest of the air section, seems like things are mostly just winterized and just kind of sitting there. They are working on a very nice path between the two parks, um, but this is the section that is so far incompleted. One thing I wanted to look at is uh, Nopuko has some pretty awful potholes here um, during this section of the ride, and... I was kind of wondering if I could find maybe some weld marks or maybe some modifications to the track to hopefully uh, smooth some of those things out. But I really, really couldn't tell anything here. Yeah. It's it's a good ride if it was smooth, but it, it, it really was. I think it's my least favorite SLC so far, and I've ridden T3. It is a pretty ride, though, that's for sure. More rides need purple paint schemes. This is another thing that I thought was really funny. They have this, like, really wide sidewalk. I'd say it's at least six feet wide. But then, for this traffic light, they decided to put the the control box for the traffic light literally right in the middle of the sidewalk instead of, like, not. So that seemed like a really stupid idea. Hopefully they move it, but it doesn't seem like something that could easily move. It looks like it's also uh, called Sink Creek the creek that runs through here. Here's a little bit of an overview of the bridge. This was uh, the bridge on the road between the two parks and it was not uh, completed the last time I was here and it's good to see because it uh, makes driving between the two properties uh, a lot easier instead of going all the way around. Here's just some footage of how insanely windy it was. This relatively small lake had some pretty decent waves being generated. Overall, not too much happening at the park, it looks like. I'm going to try to get out there at least one more time during this off-season with my drone to really get, get a good flyover, maybe sometime in April when there are it is a lot less windy and also perhaps has some more work being done around the park. But overall, yeah, not too interesting of an update, but thanks for watching. See you next time.